Hey, welcome. It's the second of June, 20, or July, second of July, twenty twenty one. I'm AZD for my MC Nation. This is for adults only. No kids should watch this video. I'm going to be speaking rated X terms. Rated X is sexually explicit, and rated R. That means I'm going to be speaking a uh, harsh and bad, aggressive language, adult language. Okay, you're responsible for your own condition. Go ahead and spread whatever teachings you want from here to outside. Um, it's up to you. And uh, remember, I am AZD from INC Nation. Now, this is a new series of video blogs from now, video blogs from now until whenever that is, which is going to be a long, long time. I guarantee you, I can see it. So what it's going to happen now is if you're um, watching my video blogs, I'm speaking simply to my tribe, which is a tribe of men in IMC Nation uh, that I've handpicked that I would like to have around me as my friends and my tribe. That's it, okay? That's what these video blogs are for. And the rest of the world, you could all go fuck yourself real good. I could really give a shit, okay? I really could give a shit. You're gonna benefit from it because my tribe is extremely powerful. But I'm not speaking to you, okay? So you save it. Um, let's get started. Our, our ability to, um, as men, come together in groups and form a code amongst us that, that we won't break for anybody, creates a sort of a society, right? It creates a society inside of a society. I want you to see that, right? So what happens is let's say five guys get together and they say, okay, in our little clubhouse, right? In our fucking tree house or whatever the fuck you want to call it in our little room, um, we're going to have some rules. Number one, uh, let's say let's say one of their rules was that we're all going to be very strong. What does that mean? It means that weakness is going to be a um, weakness is going to be a quality that we will attack around us mercilessly. Which means what? Like if you're a dude and you're around us and you're gonna act like a bitch, we're gonna call you like a bitch. Let's say five guys agreed to that. They're like, you good with that? Fuck yeah, I'm good with that. You good with that? I'm good with that. I'm good with that. Okay, so we now have a code that says, if any of us ever acts like a bitch, everybody, everybody better call out the bitch as the bitch. And we all agree, okay? Let's start there. Then they have another code. And they say that all of us have to get physically stronger every day which means we must train our bodies somehow, some way, in some kind of physical activity. And if you don't, then you're not part of our group. You, you, you can't sit with us. So now we have a group of men who have two rules. One, if you're going to be a pussy about it, we're going to call you every single time on it, all right? Make it very uncomfortable, or kick you out. Two, you, you me, you, 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 all, all five of us, every single day we have to demonstrate to each other that we've done something to become stronger physically, in some sort of activity. You don't have to lift weights every day. You don't have to do judo every day. But I have to see that you are taking the time to become stronger as a man, pushing yourself. Because when you push yourself physically, you have to push yourself mentally. They go together. You can't push yourself physically without pushing yourself mentally, right? So we recognize that a man must become stronger physically because that's also mental practice and discipline, right? So now we have two rules of strength. And then we decide something else. That if any of you are in trouble, then all of us are going to help. Unless you've done something willingly to try to destroy this group. Like if you go out of this group and you do something so bad, you go rape or, or you know, do, do some stupid fucking activity like that, we're not going to protect you. Okay, you, with, you have to keep the codes of our group. But as long as you keep the codes of our group, you could always count on my two shoulders and my arms and legs. And we shake hands, shake hands, shake hands. Now we have five guys, five men, five men in a neighborhood who've shaken hands like this. That neighborhood is going to have more order starting right there. They're going to start caring about things. They're going to start protecting things. They're going to start doing things. And if there's a man, one by himself, <clears throat> he's in one of those houses, and he decides that he doesn't agree with the five, the chances of the five overthrowing him are 100%, actually. <clears throat> in, in the jungle, that would happen. 
So I'm speaking to IMC Nation when I'm speaking. I'm not speaking to the normal world, okay? I am not from your world. I don't want to be from your world. I left it a long time ago. I left it a long time ago and I created my own tribe. And now I have everything I want, which means nothing. It means anything you say doesn't make a difference. Like right now, let's say after this, people comment, right? Some of those people are IMC Nation people. I know them. <clears throat> their comments mean something to me. Other people are non-IMC Nation people, and their comments mean nothing to me. Now, let's say it's a really pretty girl, super pretty girl, who comments, oh, I love your watch, I want to be with you, to, to whatever. It still doesn't mean anything to me. Because she's not, she's not around, she's just talking. If she wanted to do that, she would get the time to come and know me. I don't need her. I'm fine where I'm at. I have enough women, and inside of IMC Nation is enough. Well, what about uh, a guy who says, oh man, I, I really think you're incredible. Thank you for saving my life. Congratulations, I could give a shit. I don't know you. I don't know you. So that compliment means nothing. It's like a random fucking bird chirping. Now, if you want me to know you, well, the entrance to my tribe, for you to, to have a seat every day and have a conversation with me and my tribe every day. That's called the lion's den. And my tribe is only for men, by the way. It's not for women. We have a lot of women that visit. But if you ever want to have the most powerful tribe, and if you want to have the most beautiful women in the jungle, then create a tribe of men who are savages and who are intelligent, who have each other's backs, and do not let one woman into that tribe as a tribal member, but let them visit. And the most beautiful women of the jungle will come here as they do. So no, my tribe has zero women in it. My own girlfriends are not my tribe. They're not my tribe. They're my women. There's a difference. There's my tribe. And my tribe recognizes that those are my women. There's a difference. <clears throat> but if they were my tribe, then they'd mix in with my tribe. And my tribe is a tribe of men. And I count them like this. If I needed $1,000, I should be able to call someone. They should give me $1,000. If I was in trouble and I called and I said, there's some people that want to hurt me, that my friends should be there. That's my tribe. And if they weren't, then I actually don't care. So I'm only evaluating the men around me based on that. The women around me, I'm evaluating very simply like this. How do they treat me? Simple. And I expect everybody in IMT Nation to evaluate women around them just off of one simple rule. How does that woman treat you? You don't give a fuck about anything else. I don't give a fuck who she was, who she's been, who she knows, because... She is to relate to me and I only relate to my tribe. Listen carefully how powerful this is. In my tribe, I will know the men and their activities with that woman. But I only care about the men in my tribe. I don't care about some random man she's been with before in the jungle. This is my tribe here, a group of men. I would like to know how you've known them before you enter. Then I'll decide. I'll decide if I make you, because we don't care what other men think. You see, that's the power of it. <clears throat> if we're a basketball team and we're going to be playing basketball against the other group, we don't care what the people in the stands say. They could like us or not like us. We're going to get paid and we're going to play the game. And we're here to win. Okay? These are winning attitudes. I'm video blogging, brother. I'll look at it right after. So, <clears throat> what am I telling you guys? What am I telling the Lions Nation men? I'm telling you. The first step is the Lions Den, right? So maybe you're on Lions Den, maybe you're not. Maybe you're one of my subscribers. We have thousands of subscri subscribers. And maybe you've been like, oh, you know, I'm learning a lot from AZD. I'm learning a lot from Arash. Okay, you're learning whatever the fuck you're learning. It doesn't mean anything. Okay, you have no idea what I'm capable of, what I can do, and how I could be of use to you, to you in my tribe. You enter the lion's den for $97 a month. Every day in the beginning, as you enter IMC Nation, the very front, there's a giant auditorium, like, like in ancient Greece times. And you take a seat with your name on it, because you got lion's den seat. You sit down. I show up and I lecture every single day and have a conversation with the other tribal council, tribal leaders, tribal members. And you get to see through dialogue how I conduct my kingdom, which consists of six queens that are committed to me. More women that are committed to me. These six 
I've said, I'll take care of them at a different level because of their commitment and the way they treat me, okay? And so by, by going through <clears throat> the business of the tribe every day, which, which every man, his business is his women or his lack of women, this is business because I expect a tribe of men who can get women, who can make money and who can fight. That's what I want. Okay, that's it. Those are the three things that you have to be, that we are going for, for world class. Okay, we're world class in it all. I just want such a big gap. Okay, so anyways, you enter through the lines then, that's $97 a month, comes to $3.24 a day. Okay, you go to arisethepar.com, that's like the entrance, the portal, the stargate. You come through, from there, you get to see, show up every day, take notes, go back, don't talk, it's fine, or begin to see what the tribe actually is, what I'm really capable of and what IMC Nation really is, and why some really, really big, powerful men in the world show so much respect here, okay? Then you may want to become part of the tribe. Good. Then I'm gonna have to teach you a different level of the process the beasting process. And then it's my task then, because let's say you're now a <clears throat> member of the tribe, you're a citizen of IMC Nation now. Now you hashtag IMC Nation on your shit. Now, if you have a problem, I have a problem. Now, there you go, you're a brother now. Okay, it's in my best interest that you become as strong and as deadly and as capable as you can. Why, because I'm counting on you? I don't want to deal with a bunch of wimps. I don't deal with a bunch of wimps as enemies. I don't fucking deal with any kind of wimps, actually. Wimps, we don't deal with. So for that reason, <clears throat> it's important that first you enter through the lion's den and learn, learn a lot and decide whether you're going to go further or not. But in order to know me, and if you want to learn from me, I can tell you 100%, you have to become part of my tribe. And my tribe is called IMC Nation. And now if you're hearing this and you're watching this video, because the first time I'm making a video like this, I can tell you, <clears throat> I'm not telling you I'm starting a tribe. I'm not telling you that I want to start a tribe and I'm not telling you that one day there will be a tribe. I'm saying this video is being made, meaning that at this very exact moment, not one other person could ever join my tribe. And with what I have, I'm ready to go take on the world now with the people that I know. So now I'm inviting you to an established thing. You get it? It's too late now for you to want to help me or, you know, like I give a shit about your $97 or $1,000 a month. I could give a flying fuck. Okay, now it's about heart check, nut check, and fucking brain check. Like you got to be logical to be around here. Okay, you got all three? <clears throat> Good. Then show up because if you can't afford $97 a month as a man, then I can tell you you're actually not qualified to be in this trap. It's pathetic. So you're going to come and you're going to pay for lessons. You're going to open the door and sit down. Then you're going to prove your value to the tribe. And when you do, and you're going to want to do that because there's nothing like being around other men who are logical, who are strong, and who have a purpose. I'm telling you, you've all lost it. That's why you go to porn, and that's why you go to video games, and that's why you do all kinds of weird shit like that. Because you're just trying to fulfill the, the very genetic need of belonging to a goddamn tribe. <clears throat> that's why you watch sports as crazy as you watch it. Because you think you belong to at least the people who like the 49ers or the Chicago Bulls. Or... And you tribe up like that. You show up to the parties and if you both got the same jersey, yeah, yeah, that's the tribe, right? However, if you need a thousand bucks, that man wouldn't fucking come over. And if someone was hurting in the middle of the night, you don't even have his number. That's not, a, that's a fake. That's the globalist that's the globalist taking over your manlyhood <clears throat> and giving you the NFL, the NHL, the NBA, and the N, 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 okay? You get it? That's them giving you a tribe, giving the colors and then telling you to go buy it. Why don't you go buy their fucking jersey so that you could feel cool since you can't dribble a fucking basketball worth shit? Okay, why don't you go wear a fucking football jersey since you look like a fucking football, all right? But you could still really feel like you're one of the fucking dudes over there, okay? <clears throat> That's how they brainwash the man. The last thing a man wants to do is sit around on a side 
on the sidelines and watch another man for four to five hours play football. I mean, if we're walking by and there's a group of men playing football, we may stop for a second if the game is exciting, but we don't have four or five hours to sit down and watch those groups of men play football. If I keep saying this slower, you'd see how stupid the normie world looks, okay? <clears throat> You're going to buy tickets. They're going to go sit. Go! And they're going to do that for four hours watching two teams play football and get all passionate about it. These motherfuckers have paid so much money and those people are getting paid. Okay? Everybody's a fucking loser here. All right? No man would ever fucking go sit down and watch another two fucking people. Unless, like, maybe if he was in a wheelchair. I could see that. You could go roll up and watch that shit and really enjoy it. Okay? If you're half retarded, maybe. You would go fucking sit down, oh, drool and watch fucking teams play. And it's like, come home, no Johnny Irons, we want to watch. Okay? But if you had any goddamn energy, here's what normally happens, okay? You stop, you watch the football game or basketball game, and if you like it that much, you know what you do? You raise your hand and you try to walk in. And you say, you guys want somebody else? Like, can I get in on this thing? That's literally how we grew up. And <clears throat> if the answer is no, you walk off. You don't sit down and watch them for four hours. You would be the biggest loser you've ever seen. You motherfuckers didn't make it into the football and basketball teams, you fucking monkeys. And you sit ass down and you fucking watch this and you get emotional about it, okay? Well, good. That's not IMC Nation. We can all appreciate it. I would love to watch a good basketball game. But it would be in the context of a bunch of my friends hanging out, doing a bunch of other shit maybe. Not paying a fucking ticket for that. Get the fuck out of here, okay? Real men have real things to do, all right? Not watch other fucking men do shit. How's that, okay? Let's take fucking that for a moment. <clears throat> real men actually have lives that they want to build. They actually want tomorrow to be a, a, a better than today. Like, I want my tomorrow to be better than today. I'm not trying to live the same fucking day. You know, I'm not trying to hold on to something. I'm just trying to keep building. That's what a man is. That's what the code of this group is. You create, 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 create. Okay? Now the problem is, and that's what I'm going to be going over in the lines then. The problem is that you are taking everybody's point of view, especially the globalist point of view, as valid. <clears throat> you got to find your tribe, decide on the values of the tribe, and put a middle finger to all the gods and the devils, everyone. Like I said, I care more about what my tribe thinks than what God thinks. Because I still don't know if God's on my team. But I know my tribe is on my team. There's a big fucking difference. If I'm laying there and I'm about to be eaten by a wolf and I'm praying to God, I'm not sure if he will fucking show up and save me. But if I'm laying there and dying, I yell out to my tribesmen, they're going to run over there if they're within here and they're going to save me. So I give more of a fuck what they think than what God's book says about and what I should do. Because I, I haven't seen him yet. And so what happens is my mind becomes very what? Primal and very strong. And that's why I feel better and better all the time. And I'm 44 years old and I can keep up with all of you no matter how old you are right now. It makes no difference. There isn't somebody who has more energy than me that I've experienced in my life yet. Do I think that day is going to come? I really don't think so. I don't think so. Okay. So we're wrapping this up. Yeah, <clears throat> 18 minutes. What do you got to do? Well... When you listen to shit like this, it makes you feel stronger, okay? And it brings things in order in your head. And if you're watching this as the first video blog, you're like, what the fuck am I watching, you know? Listen, it makes sense what I'm saying, okay? A man must make sense. And what they've done is they've made, they've made your, your masculinity and they made your, your ability to be a man a shameful thing, okay? That's because feminism has won the war, okay? Feminism has won the war. All right? That's why they don't even have to advertise anymore. Because they have taken over everything. There used to be a time they had to advertise feminism and talk about it. The reason they don't talk about it anymore is because everything's become feminist already. Okay? So now what you need to do is you need to talk about masculinity. Just like the way the feminists did. You got to talk about masculinity. You got to bring masculinity back. And masculinity will win and will take over because it's stronger. And the only thing that can beat anything like that. The only thing that can beat anything on the planet is masculinity. Masculinity is the energy of God that became the sword. 
Masculinity is what became the lion. Masculinity is what became the arrow. Masculinity is the force of male energy that goes to battle. Do you understand that? Like we are God's creations. We are God's children. You go, well, I thought you don't believe in God. Now learn how to speak, okay? I speak at a higher level. You're still obviously in fifth grade. This is an adult video blog. We're God's children. We're God's creation. As men, we are his sword. As women, and you girls are his container. God made the woman the container for the child, for the man's semen, for his home. She's to contain his power. He, she's supposed to teach him these things from God. She's supposed to soften around him. Because when he leaves her, he's supposed to cut through anything and everything. He's the only thing that stands between evil. Man, homo sapiens, this guy, me. I'm not talking about four and I'm not talking about some fucking guy down the street. I'm not talking about the cop wearing the fucking uniform of the soldier in the army. I'm talking about Arad Zapar Divazar, me. Me and my brothers, we're the only thing that stands between evil and our life. If there's evil that's going to come to us and our family, we're the only things that stand in front of it. Even if, even if cops want to get involved. A man is the only thing that can stand up to the darkness of the world because he is the light. That's what the yang energy is. Okay? Woo, that's some good shit. Continuing on into the lion's den. IMC Nation, be the best and fuck the rest. And the rest is everybody who's not IMC Nation. That's what I'm talking about.